Do you have any suggestions slash resources slash direction to resources on talking to children, especially girls, about healthy sexuality? So basically how, how and boy, you know, you've got all sorts of age ranges, but you know, how do you talk? I think we've got some recommendations here and these actually came from uh, Kathy. I've looked at them. Walt Lermore wrote these books and he's a friend, he's a great guy. Um, psychologist who used to work with Focus on the Family. There's a book called The Ultimate Guy's Body Book, and it's for boys aged 9 to 12. There's another one called The Ultimate Girl's Body Book, and that's for girls aged 9 to 12. Um, Kathy highly recommends those. I've looked at them. They look great to me. Um, I, I, would, I would say this, um, when you talk to your kids about sex, be sure that you are just a little bit ahead of them, but not too far ahead of them. There's a balance. So a child may ask a question, where do babies come from? And you know, you can give about a 15 minute, cause you're ready for this day. Okay, this is what I'm gonna say when that day comes. And you lay it all out and they're just going, I don't know, I just wanna know where babies come from. I, I, I didn't, what is all this other stuff? They may not yet be really asking the question you think they're coming from. So just, you know, answer it. Well, of course, I guess you know that when you see a woman who's, who's pregnant and she has the baby, the baby comes from inside her. Well, where did the baby come from? Well, God put the baby there. How did God put the baby? Let them ask the question. And then it's like, well, when a man and, lo and woman really love each other and they care about each other, uh, then uh, a child will often come from that relationship. That may be all they need to know at that point. However, when they're getting to an age, and you have to discern it, where they're going to be hearing the specifics, be one step ahead or be there at least by that time, and give your input in terms of the physical relationship of a man and woman. And it doesn't have to be graphic. It can be very simple. It can start with the, the daddy and the mommy, you know, hug each other and a baby comes. Yes, there's a little more to it than that, we know, but the child may or may not be ready to hear the next step. So I would just say there's two extremes in this thing. The one is I'm not going to talk about that. Let the world, let them learn from somebody else. No, that's not what you want. Okay. But the other extreme is to feel like I've got to kind of push my kids into thinking about things and asking questions that may be beyond what they're okay, asking. Okay, and then uh, uh, beyond that, then <clears throat> more of um, their, their worldviews, so to speak, on sexuality. In other words, the, the respect, speak a little bit about the respect level and what you know, boys need to hear and what young ladies need to hear as far as um, you know, the respect level of each other and, and, and the purity part. Yeah, you, you have, you know, uh, the best thing you can do when raising boys is to treat them to respect girls. And certainly uh, you may call upon your husband um, for those who are married, I realize not everybody is, but for those who are married, call upon your husband to get involved with your sons to treat them the importance of the respect they show to mom. And if you have daughters, if your boys have sisters, then the respect they need to show to them and to any younger or older females is just huge. The respect that they show. And uh, this trains them to have regard for women as subjects not just objects, and that's the huge problem, that, that boys can, you know, begin to see girls as objects, uh, not subjects, people. And so having raised two daughters, one of the things that was just so important to me was always to encourage them to respect themselves. And I always demanded respect of any boys that were around them. If I saw a boy disrespect my daughter, I would take him aside 
and make clear that, uh, that he should respect these girls, not only because they're girls, but partly because they're girls, and, and they deserve honor and respect. Likewise, teaching your girls respectful behavior toward boys and teaching your girls at a very early age not to flirt. And you know, sometimes, can I just say this? I've seen Christian moms who without meaning to basically teach their little girls to flirt. And you, flirt may be a neutral word to you, and it may seem completely innocent. But the same girl who learns to flirt with guys all the time, later when she grows up and hits adolescence, will follow the lead of the world in terms of how do you make yourself liked by boys? Show them more. Make little suggestive comments. And then a girl who's sent down that road, and, and some of you know this because it happened in your life, it's, it's a sad thing because you do become an object. And you become an object, often part of it is that you've made yourself an object, even though that wasn't your desire, but it happens. I hope that makes sense.